longer LK5 Pro 3D printer. And it's sitting right here on the table. It takes up a lot of room. It's a big printer, but it's nice for making big things. We're going to update firmware. Ooh, scares a lot of people. My little scary guy here. It's not as difficult as you think. I uh, recently did a video on upgrading it on the uh, LK4X, which is behind me here, currently running. And we're going to do the same thing on this one, but this has a little bit different procedure. You'll need to have your computer connected to it via the USB cable. I'll take you through this step by step coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the loft above the shop as I peer around the corner of my printer here. We're going to upgrade the, the firmware on this and update it, upgrade it, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people, it, it just scares the bejesus out of them to do that. It's not that difficult. Uh, this one is a little bit more involved than what I did with the LK4X there, but it's still, it's easy. You can do it right from Cura. I'm going to take you on the computer here and show you how to do that. And if you don't know where to get the firmware, I will put a link in the description of this version, but this can change. So the best thing to do is to go to Longer's website and go to the contact us and just fill out the little form, tell them you like the latest version of firmware, put in whatever model, printer, laser, whatever you have, and uh, they'll get back to you with a link to go to their Google Drive where you can download it. So let's go on the computer here and I'll show you how this works. It's not that difficult. One thing you will want to do, actually a couple things, you want your printer turned on. You want to connect it to your computer via the USB cable and the USB port on the printer. And if there is a micro SD card in the printer, take it out because you don't need that in there for what we're going to do here. And it may cause issues. Maybe not. Better safe than sorry. So head to the computer here. Okay, so we're going to start out with Cura. And I got the 4X on there right now, but doesn't really matter what you have selected there. You want to go up here to settings, printer, manage printers. Now we're on the longer LK5 Pro. We click on update firmware, upload custom firmware. It's a box you'll want to check. And we want to go to the LK5 Pro. It'll be a hex file. Let's highlight that, open, and the Cura will update that firmware for you, just like this. And it'll say firmware update completed. Let's click on close. And you may see the screen on your uh, printer flash, that's fine. And we're all done. So now all you need to do is reboot your printer. So that's all there is to it. Um, I have got a little, I don't have any filament loaded in this one right now. I got a little scrap here. I'm going to run a test on this, uh, but it, it should be fine. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.